Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to create a menu system inside of Python. Now, what I mean by menu system is quite simply just um, a list of options and the user types in the option they want and it runs that desired option. There's no interface, no uh, graphical user interface as such. Um, we just have a list printed as text and we can choose from the list. Um, but it's, it's it's really useful if we have a program that can do uh, multiple things. So, for example, um, a, a register for a school. You could add a new pupil to it. You could print off a list of pupils. You could uh, even delete a pupil from the list. Um, you could print some reports. A lot of other things. So, if you've got a lot of options you can do uh, inside this program, we can just create a very simple text-based list. So. To do this, I'm going to combine sort of two, maybe three elements of the of stuff we've already gone over. So the first being, we're going to set up a function. So if you want to know more about functions, just look back at the videos I've done previously, um, and there'll be one about functions. So to define a function, we type def for define, and I'm just going to call this menu. Okay, open close brackets colon. And as we tab, um, as we put a colon at the end and we hit enter, again, we tab one along. So only this code will run once menu function has been called. And inside here I'm going to have um, a stage where it's going to ask the user for an input. It's going to have a stage where it prints out the list of options they can choose from. So they'd be the other way around really. Um, and then it's going to have a stage where it's going to decide what to do. Uh, so a condition it's going to make make a decision on the user's input as to what option to to, to choose. So I'm just going to create a very simple uh, sort of four item uh, menu. So in order to do so we need to print the menu to the user first. So print uh, we could say welcome comma and uh, backslash n is uh, a new line so backslash n uh, we're going to have one's going to be print hello okay backslash n two print world okay backslash n option three is going to be print let's just say python and I'm going to have to think of a fourth one here this is where the creativity starts to lack uh, in my mind I'm afraid. So four we'll say print hello world uh, welcome to my program. Very simple. You know, nothing too intense at the moment. So that's our uh, that's our list of items that the user can choose from when we run it. So I'm just going to get all the way back here because um, it's kind of gone off the screen. We haven't got that much of us screen to use. Um, so once I've printed the list for the user to, to choose something from, we then must get their uh, their choice. So I'm just going to create a variable that's going to store the user's choice. So I'm just going to leave uh, the prompt blank. So it'll be on a new line and it'll just be waiting for the user to type something in. So from here we can then start to build some conditions. Now again based on the options we've chosen that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say if choice is equal to, so remember double equals to compare uh, one variable to another rather than a single equal sign which is a um, you assigning a value to a variable. So if the choice is one colon, and we hit enter again we see we tabbed along two now and just obviously for this example we're just going to print uh, hello and then we're going to hit enter. I'm going to just enter it twice so it breaks it up a little bit for you. It's a bit easier to see. I'm going to say if choice is two. So this time around, we've moved on to the the second option. So that is our function created. Now, if we just save this and we'll call it uh, menu. Oh, sorry, this is slightly off screen. You don't really need to see it, but I'll just call it menu save. So if I run it now, obviously we nothing happens because when we ever make functions the first thing we're telling well the only thing we're telling it to do here is this this bit of code will only run when this function's called so obviously we need to call the function 
simple enough, menu, open close brackets, F5, and it runs through the um, code under the function menu. So if I want to print out number 3, uh, done. So I'm going to make a slight change to this, a slight edit, so that it's a menu system whereby whenever the user makes their choice and they've completed the task, or whatever choice um, choice of task they desire is completed, it's going to sort of loop back to the menu. And the way we can do this is very simple really. We, After we've told each of the choices what to do, so if choice 1, print hello, we can just say, we can just call menu, we can call itself. So I'm just going to do the same again, menu after all these. Okay, save F5. So let's do one, and we get hello, and then it prints out the menu again. So two, prints out world, three, prints out Python, and finally four, and it prints out hello, welcome to my program. So that's a very simple way, very simple text-based way we can add a menu system to our uh, program.